This is Jessica Williamson and you're watching Zaproot. The ooze is coming. <laughs> and nothing can be done to stop it. The idea sounds straight out of a horror movie, but the details are very real. An oily, toxic underground lake, more than 55 acres wide and up to 25 feet thick, has pulled up in the aquifer beneath Greenpoint, New York, and is slowly seeping to the surface. I don't know what this is, but it's got to be killed before it gets any bigger. Oh, doctor, I'm afraid. Try to stay as far away from it as you can. <laughs> Take the calm. The ooze is actually more than a century's worth of spills, leaks, and waste dumped by oil companies. First discovered by the US Coast Guard in 1978, the Greenpoint spill has been estimated at anywhere between 17 and 30 million gallons. That's three times more than the Exxon Valdez spill. And that makes it the largest oil spill in US history, right there in the middle of a suburb in New York City. <laughs> And what happens if the ooze gets to you? Well, you'll be exposed to a toxic cocktail. Part degraded gasoline, part fuel oil, part naphtha, the chemical from which napalm takes its name. If it gets you in your basement, you'll be exposed to benzene vapor, a known carcinogen, at concentrations 100 times the limits set by OSHA. If it gets into your drinking glass, you'll get PCEs and TCEs, suspected carcinogens that are able to dissolve in water and have already been found in Queen's water supply. The history of the ooze is a long tangled mess of greed and incompetence. At one point in 1950, fumes from the ooze backed up in the sewer system and blew 25 manhole covers up to 30 feet in the air and still no action was taken. The oil companies have recently cleaned up 9 million gallons, but the stuff just keeps coming. The damages could total $58 billion. So mind your manners, kids, or the ooze will come and get you. I don't think it can be killed, but at least we've got it stopped. Yeah, as long as the Arctic stays cold. I really encourage you to check out the article in New York Magazine. There's a link in our show notes. Brassfire.com. Water. Let's face it, it's pretty damn important. And a new documentary, Flow, For the Love of Water, which recently premiered at the Sundance Film Festival, suggests that it's drying up. And we here at Zapro figure there's no time like the present. Clearly, we need to show a little love to our water and savor every drop. Here's some cheap do-it-yourself solutions. Get yourself a low-flow showerhead. The average showerhead puts out 2.5 gallons per minute, but this one from Gaia puts out 1.2 gallons per minute and only costs 12 bucks. Or you could step up to these Supermax showerheads from Brightcore that flow at only about a half gallon per minute it, but they'll set you back about 60 bucks. Or check out this one that actually pauses the flow of water when it first gets warm. So you don't waste water waiting for the temperature to heat up. It's called the Roadrunner and it costs $40. And for the sink, you can install a low flow aerator for only two bucks. Excuse me? Well, while you're there, you may as well check out this controllable flush system for your toilet for only 30 bucks. Or there's Sink Positive, a replacement lid that incorporates a sink and uses the excess water for flushing. It will set you back about 90 bucks. Excuse me. And these solutions will not only save water, but will save you a little money on your water bill too. And please, let us know if you have any tips or tricks on saving water. You can email us at zapfruit at gmail.com. And remember, all the links to these items can be found in our show notes. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check us out at zapfruit.com.